So you've been emailing people and you don't know why all of a sudden your emails are going to spam. It's not fun, but it happens. And it can be really frustrating when you're trying to close deals or communicate with your customers. But there are some simple tweaks you can do to help your emails get through even the strictest of inboxes. So stay tuned. What's up, everyone? It is your friendly neighborhood SDR, Bobby J. Costin, and we've compiled a list of six things you can do to avoid your emails going to the spam folder. Let's get started. One, you can personalize your email. To minimize the risk of spam, personalization is a must. Even the simple addition of adding your prospect's name in the subject line increases the email's trustability by 26%. You also want to make sure it sounds like it was written by someone who genuinely cares about the reader. Not like an impersonal mass email blast sent out by some automated system because <laughs> we, we don't do that. <laughs> we, we, we don't do that. We don't do that. Number two, always double opt in. Double opt in is a way to make sure that people who are signing up for your email list are actually interested in receiving emails from you. Basically what happens is when someone signs up is they'll get an email asking them to confirm that they actually want to be on your list and if they don't confirm within a certain amount of time, usually like 48 hours, then they get removed from it automatically and everyone's happy. This improves deliverability, open rate, and avoids spam almost all by itself. So do it now, right now. Number three, segment users by their interest. The better you know your audience, the fewer chances your email goes to spam instead of the inbox. Why? Well, because if you know what your followers are interested in reading about, the better the content you send and the higher the open rate. If your blog is targeted for different audiences, try analyzing their behavior, separate the contact list, and send customers customized content depending on their likes and interests. And number four, no spammy subject lines. Guys, spammy subject lines are a big no-no because it's not only annoying for the recipient, but it's also a telltale sign that you're just trying to get people to open your email by any means necessary. And nobody, nobody likes someone who's desperate. Nobody. When you're crafting your subject line, think about what would make someone want to open your email. What's the benefit they'll get from reading what you wrote and what do they stand to gain? If you don't have a good answer for those questions, then you should definitely rework your subject line until it sounds like a human being actually wrote it and not a robot. I mean, I know we want robots to do everything, but maybe not everything. And pro tip, avoid using too many capital letters and exclamation marks, please. It, it just sounds like you're crazy. Because guys, if your subject line sounds like it's from a Nigerian prince who wants to give you his fortune and all he needs is your bank account number and social security number, then uh, <laughs> your email is gonna go straight to the trash bin. So try something more neutral and less aggressive than that. Yeah, I think that'll work. Next, number five is optimize your contact list. Make sure you get rid of all duplicate emails, emails with typos, do not contact email addresses, expired domains, and all other contacts that serve absolutely no purpose. Also, in those marketing campaigns with inactive subscribers, all those emails are probably gathering dust and just go straight to the spam folder anyway. So don't let them continue damaging your IP's reputation. You'll feel so much lighter after you finally cut the dead weight. And last but not least, number six, keep the balance between content and promotional emails. If you send too many promotional emails, your subscribers are going to get annoyed and start marking them as spam. Then it's game over, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can keep your subscribers engaged without sending so many promotional emails. All you need to do is make sure there's a good balance between the content and promotional emails you send. So that way your subscribers can always find something interesting in their inbox every time they check their email. And now you can successfully avoid your email marketing emails going straight to spam. You're welcome. Now, in return, all I ask is that you leave a little like and a little comment below and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned because of course we are banging these videos out. And the last favor I'll ask is if you guys can always just remember that it's not sales, it's science. Now, good luck with not getting put in the spam folder. See you guys.